So today I'll be showing you what is on my iPhone 12 Pro. What is up y'all? This is Brina X. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'll show you some cool apps that's on my iPhone. I'll show you what's on my iPhone 12 Pro. So definitely keep watching. I had to, this is like the third time I'm re-recording this video. I did not realize one of my eyelashes was off. So if it come off now, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. If my eyelash is off, it's gonna stay off. So today I'll be showing you what is on my iPhone 12 Pro. I have five 12 gigabytes. If you wanna see my unboxing and everything that I did with the phone, then check that out after this video. It's gonna be somewhere on YouTube, probably on the homepage, or you can check out the Brain X playlist. It should be there as well. So keep watching if you wanna see some cool apps that I use. So if we go to my front page right now, or my first page, and you can see I got my photos app, I got photo widget, and that's what I use to use my own photos. And I have one for Pinterest as well, cause this just pins my favorite bags that I like. So I redid this whole thing a while ago. This was like back from iOS, when I did iOS 14, the update. But what I do like that they change is with shortcuts. Now it automatically goes to the app instead of it opening another homepage to go like it was like opening extra stuff to go to the app. For Facebook, I made like a Sailor Moon because I was really into Sailor Moon at the time. <laughs> and then I had HBO Max and I kind of wanted this to be anime themed. So I did like this aesthetic purple theme. And then you got the little ghost thing from Spirited Away. My maps, GoodNotes is great. So one app I did want to point out, Saunders is great for all the nursing students who's watching this. Or if you know somebody studying for the NCLEX, check out Saunders. They're really good. I have the app and the app I could just do questions on the go. But the book is good as well. So I had the book and I had the app as well. Um, good notes is great for taking notes for school. Um, I also have it on my phone because I bought it. I think it was like five dollars, but I bought good notes. It's really great on the iPad. You sketch out your notes. Um, I don't know if people have time to make it aesthetic, but some people do that. Or you could do like a digital planner on there. You could use it for a lot. So on the next page, I have my clock and I use, which sailor is this? I think this is Sailor Neptune or Sailor Pluto. I don't know which one. I think it's either Sailor Neptune or Sailor Pluto. I think it's Sailor Pluto because Sailor Pluto be turning stuff up. I like customize my entire feed. So if you look at this one, it has like a rose gold aesthetic. Brats and it says wish and then FaceTime and it has another Brats which is purple and then the Disney's in rose gold and I just changed the name to like Mad at Disney. So there's a way to do it. You'll go in shortcuts and kind of like do a whole lot. It's a lot. Yeah, so I did want to open my TikTok. My TikTok is Brina X. I'll be posting beauty, lifestyle, and fashion content on this page as I will be posting on this YouTube channel as well. Let me go to the next page. So on the next one, I have like the same aesthetic, but this is kind of like pink. Um, yeah, so I changed my contact. Canva is one of the best apps to edit fast if you wanna edit thumbnails. Like, I don't know, now they're adding video. So I have the pro on Canva, so all access to all the features. A couple cool apps on this page. So I have my Snapchat, my Snapchat is the same, as our smile. Um, my med book, so I put like the cute little vampire glitter tea. This is um, Nursing Central. So we're gonna go to the David's Drug Guide. This is my Nursing Central. And it tells you the drug of the week. It tells you what the drug is, what it does, like when you should give it, when you should not give it, how much to give, so it's for it the side effects, what to look out for, and this is great for nurses to have. You can kind of just review it wherever you are on the go. I got this for school, it, you do have to pay for it. It was like a lot of money, but my school required it. So I've had that and I've had it since. So that's what I use instead of carrying an actual drug book with me. I did want to show you guys, um, so on my fit days, Okay, so my weight is the same today. So I have this app called Fit Days and it's synced with my scale, 
a weight scale. I got it from Amazon and it tells you your current weight, but it breaks it down for you. So we go to an example, more data. So this is my, this is still my current weight. It tells you your weight and then it will tell you your BMI. It will tell you if it's standard or if it's too high. It tells you percent body fat, your body water, your skeletal muscle, body mass, protein, your basal metabolic rate. Right here, you can see this is low, so, right, so I have the body age of a 28 year old according to this app, but you don't wanna just take it like 100%. This is kind of like, a, it's very skewed, so, you know, some days you could be like starving, it could be like all wonky, so you can't really just take this 100%, but it's a good way to monitor your current weight over time if you're trying to do that. I just thought that was cute, so I just wanted to put that in there. That's a cute app that really helps if you're trying to stay on track with your fitness and how much water you're trying to consume. Okay, so the next app is UWorld NCLEX. So a lot of people use UWorld. Um, how I use UWorld was I would study the rationales and like try and then like see if you get the question wrong. You look at the rationale and then you see why it's wrong. So you have to understand why, like the back story behind it so the next time you get any type of question like that you get it right that's what took me so long to figure out <laughs> um i really love the batteries feature on the iphone with this new update this was since ios 14 but this is still good it tells you what percentage your airpods are on because usually my airpods would be like about to die and i don't even know I didn't even know before, but now I love the, how it has the percentage. Um, another cool app that I use, I use Facetune, that's for photos. I have the pro version, so we can open Facetune. So I would mostly use my Facetune for Snapchat. Let me see if I can find a different photo. Okay, so now we're on Facetune. And on my Facetune, so I would like, for example, I have the pro version. I wanted to unlock everything. I didn't even know about Facetune regular, so I just have Facetune 2. Um, so for Snapchat photos, I would like contrast a little bit, add a little bit color, make it a little bit sharp, but not too much. And it already has grain, but if you wanted, you can make it like really grainy and get that grainy effect. You can change the shadow, saturation, structure, all of it. Over here, you can relight an image. See that? Just playing with it. All right, so you can relight the image. Um, I like defocus, and I really like it for the patch, the paint. So paint, I can make something more vibrant. So say if I have in these green eyes, right? I can zoom in, literally color it green inside the eyes. And now you can see the difference, right? It's like slight tweaks I would make, not nothing crazy. So you can really see the before and the after. So it's like something to make it pop a little bit. Um, another great app, Rakuten, I think it used to be Ebates. It does give you cash back. It's actually real. Um, I have my phone app, which is the same green phone app here, but you don't see the actual icon, like the notification on it. That's the only thing that I don't like about this. So like, say if you get a call and you missed it, if you have this aesthetic looking feed, you won't see your actual missed call. So on the next one, I have motivational quotes for inspiration. Um, let's see what's another one I have. So you can actually change them out. Um, yeah, and then I have Snapseed. I use that to edit Lightroom. Pinterest is where you find all your aesthetics. Um, like majority of my stuff there is, is private on Pinterest, but I do have a lot of nail stuff. If you guys want to check out my Pinterest, is that Brina X. Um, I made a lot of the stuff private because I wanted to post my own content on there. So I have Unum, and that's another editing. I have Plan, 
plan is to create a layout for your Instagram to see how you want it. I have like multiple planner apps just to see different feeds and which one I like the most. The vocal warm ups in the corner. Here I have my Bible quotes. So this is Romans 15 4. My little YouTube metrics for like analytics and stuff. The sneakers app tells you the latest drops. But you literally have to open the app because sometimes it don't notify you. The draw opens on October 5th. Ooh, this is a nice sneaker. Okay, this is the Air Force Ones. So I like the ones upcoming. I like the Air Force One Undefeated. And I like the Women's Air Jordan 5. And this is the Bluebird. So this is like sneaker draws. I never entered that. So I have no clue what to even do with that one. From StockX. But I would get like new but i would just look on stock x if they have a deal then i would get it from stock x sometimes the hype for a sneaker goes down and you could get a great deal for the sneaker so check out stock x if you're into sneakers um fit days is the actual app that i was talking about with the weight scale um i do have a twitch it's rena at socratic is great so the camera connect app is really good if you want to see yourself while you're recording on your camera just to get a better view so say the camera is a little farther away from me you can see yourself here you can take your own selfies with that it's better to connect through Bluetooth with the camera so use the camera's Wi-Fi instead of your Wi-Fi if your Wi-Fi is not good <laughs> yeah so focus keeper is the Pomodoro technique. So the Pomodoro technique is where you would study, say you only study for 25 minutes and then it'll give you a break to clear out your mind. You go back in, keep studying and you keep doing it over like a week or two weeks. The span of whenever you're gonna take your exam and it does help a lot, especially if you have a hard time staying focused. So I would use that, that helped a lot. So the Saunders is like literally the same thing that I showed you before, but I just had a shortcut for it. Yeah, Quizlet helps. You can check if anybody has flashcards for whatever class that you have. You have SoundCloud. SpongeBob, SpongeBob is giving me Diner Dash, like SpongeBob cooking game. I use Brave. Brave is great. It blocks all the ads or pop-ups. So if you want to use a Brave browser, that one's good. Um, I got my Chick-fil-A app. Subway, some Wingstop, Food, Shein, and then I have my General Electrics app over here, and that's to sync to my portable AC. If you guys wanted to get yourself a portable AC. This one is good. Um, it doesn't leak water. I really like it, and I can control it from my phone. Um, so a couple of clothing apps that I like, Pretty Little Thing. Um, I haven't shot from the other places yet, so I don't know. But their clothes are cute. Smart Life is to control one of my lights. I think it's to control the Brina X. So if you want to check out my neon RGB light video, you can check that out after this video because you gotta watch till the end, right? Change colors, and I wanted a color changing neon sign. So there's an app called Unidays and if you're a student, you sign up with your student email address and you can get discounts on clothing and whatever else they have here. You just look up the brand and you may find a 15% off or 10% off and it definitely helps with um, Apple products as well. So you can always check for student discounts and that's what I love to do, right? It helps you save some money as a student. They don't really advertise that they do it, but I do go to H&M and use the 15% off. You just have to make sure you activate it kind of like a day before and just open it when you're in the store. We light, I use that for my mini ring light. This is like a 10 inch ring light and it's RGB so you can change the color. So I'm gonna show you an example. It's like this small compared to my head. This is the blue, you can see, like changing the colors. And that's what I really like about it. I have Crash on the Run, which is kind of like Temple Run, but Crash. So let's see if we can play together.
Ooh. It's, it's not recording. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that game is pretty fun. You probably get lost in the sauce planner. I had this makeup game called Makeup Creator. It was actually so cute. I had some makeup looks on there. Yeah, so that's all the type of apps that I have on my phone. Comment down below which one you're gonna check out. Let us know what apps you're using that's really good. I'm excited. I'm excited for the next Vlogtober um, episode. I'm transitioning from fall into Halloween, so be sure to watch the whole series. Yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.